What's up, guys? Okay, so we're at Calico Ghost Town, and I've never been here before, and pretty excited for it. It's a little windy. Look at my new sweatshirt, guys, that I got. New sweatshirt. How cute is that? Everyone say hey to Desert Deb. Hey! She followed me out here. We're doing a little girls' road trip. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Let's go check out this awesome ghost town. This ghost town is uh, very touristy, so, but it doesn't look like there's too many people here, so that's good. Go see this saloon. Oh my god, for all the partiers, this is like disappointment. <laughs> Where's the saloon? It's not there. But it's a good little view. I wonder if you can drive through all that. Gonna have to find that out. Okay. No saloon back here.
Let me tell you what I thought that said up there. <laughs> Can you guys imagine what that said above drug <laughs> drugstore? What I thought it said here. Don't I'll just let you guys run with that. <laughs> You know what I thought it said. Definitely picked a right day to come. Definitely looks like a ghost town today. Okay, so they had a cute little doggy store, so I didn't want my dog being mad at me, not coming back empty handed, so I got her some little treats. Treats. <laughs> she got the chicken and sweet potato dog treats. This is a cute little store. Look at all the stuff they have in there and it's all for pets. Mostly dogs. I saw a couple of cat stuff over there yeah, but it's mostly dogs. See she said we don't say cats too loud. This is a dog store. <laughs> but they didn't want to discriminate so they got cat stuff in here too. <laughs> Doggy treats for Taja. Yay! <laughs> Hey, I think that's a bottle house. Is that a bottle house? I think so. I have to go scope that out. All right. <clears throat> so there's the ghost town behind me. I am. Um, there it is. So, in 1881 is when this ghost town was bustling. I'm reading this for you guys <laughs> so I can give you guys a little bit of history of this. <laughs> so, silver was the king here. Silver. It became one of the richest in the state. This is in California, by the way. So, this was one of the richest mines in the state. It produced $86 million in silver and $45 million in borax. Apparently this was between 1881 and 1907. Hmm. 
So they also have a campground out here also. And driving out here on the road to get here, I saw, go figure, some off-road trails. <laughs> and they're scenic off-road trails. I talked to uh, one of the people out here that work here. And yeah, so I'm thinking before I leave Tacopa, because this is like two hours away from Tacopa, and about a little over two hours away from Vegas, I'm thinking about getting a bunch of my Vegas friends and we just do a camping trip out here and then I can explore those those uh, off-roads because they look really pretty the mountains like the colors are changing in the mountain I don't know if you guys can see this in the background can you guys see the different colors in the mountains back there with my new clear phone <laughs> so yeah it would be pretty cool to come back out here and then at nighttime I guess they do ghost tours so that would be cool too so I'm gonna look into the campground situation and uh, plan a camping trip with some friends out here which would be awesome so yeah they don't really give you too much information on this <laughs> um, yeah so go check out the rest of it look at these prices if only things were still like this nowadays what it's crazy cigars five cents hmm Assuming this is an old schoolhouse. What is it? Oh, school bridge, so it would be an old schoolhouse. <laughs> That's cute. How cute. Those must have been like for their flagpoles. How awesome is that over there? The employees actually live on site. That's an employee's house. That's pretty, pretty awesome. See if we can at least see through the window. Calico Schoolhouse. It was built in 1885. This is a replica, though. A re they restored it. Still pretty cool. Let me get my shadow out of there. Look at how old those desks are. That's pretty awesome. Was that their outhouse right there for the kids? I bet you it was. Like I'm walking off side. Oh, 
There's the bottle house I saw. There it is. How cool is that? Man, we really did get lucky coming here today. Nobody is here. I feel like we're in a ghost town right now. <laughs> ha! There's another saloon over there, but I think that's false advertising again. What do you guys think? Another saloon. Yep, for the trains. You take your little train. It's a really cute ghost town, but it's just, uh, you can definitely tell that they really made this very touristy. Every single building here. Every single building is. Oh, there's Zoltar over there. <laughs> See my attention span? <laughs> my attention span is great. <laughs> I wonder if, oh, I don't have any, oh wait, I think it changed. I wonder if it works, probably not. Say, make me big. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, it takes dollar bills. Let's see. Let's see what he has to say. What am I, I'm supposed to make a wish, right? I can't remember the movie Big. It's been so long. I think I'm supposed to make a wish. Speak. Talk to Pay me. attention now. Zoltar has a word of wisdom for you this day. He who laughs last thinks lowest. Stay alert, my friend, and laugh heartily and quickly. For a small fee, Zoltar will tell you more of his secrets, and wisdom is priceless. Hmm. Your fortune. I get some lucky numbers. Maybe I should get me a lottery ticket. If you subdue yourself and return to the practice of what is right, if one day you achieve self-control and return to what is right, the world will acknowledge you as a person at his best, her best. Being the best must come from you yourself. Wise man. <laughs> Look at nothing which is contrary to 
what is right. Listen to nothing contrary to what is right. Did I just repeat that? No, it repeated itself. <laughs> Speak. It's just, okay. You will be a person at her best. I didn't really like this one. That was, that, that, that would suck. Don't, you talk. don't talk to me yes, like that. Are. No, Come don't back talk me. Be sharing with you your fortune. <laughs> Does that say gassy tunnel? <gasps> Look at that. That's cool. Chinese bath. Triggers my attention span again. <laughs> so where are the people that give you the back scrub and the full scrub for 10 cents? Hmm? I could use a back scrub right now. Pretty cool. I could live in here. <laughs> Just a little dusty and clean that up a little bit. It's kind of cute. Ha ha. Oh, what I was saying earlier, before my attention span got distracted, um, every single building here, yeah, is just a store of some sort for you to buy stuff out of, buy things. Like, I don't know. To me, I think that's kind of sad. They could have at least kept some of the, the buildings as, like, just original buildings. So, they definitely turned this ghost town into something for them to make money off of for sure most definitely look at this that's my two favorite colors oh it doesn't fit over my dreadlocks <laughs> This is why I can't wear hats anymore because of those things right there. <laughs> but here, pull it on. <laughs> here. I'm Look. Fixing fine. There we go. It's her. Maybe I'm swimming in it. <laughs> <laughs> that one's cute though. They have cute stuff they here do. also. Getting a magnet. Because I collect magnets in my trailer from everywhere that I go. Do you guys have costumes? Yeah. Well, let's. Hmm. <gasps> they have socks. I really considered getting these socks right here. I eat a lot of Kraft macaroni and cheese. I love Kraft macaroni and cheese. I feel like I should buy those socks, but they're eight dollars. I save money nowadays, not eight dollars. So that was a cute little town, little ghost town. Definitely um, a touristy ghost town. This was definitely one of the most touristy ghost towns I've ever been to. It's a little ashamed, but. I guess they 
gotta make their money somehow, but they could have done like half of it touristy and the rest of it like the original stuff. But oh well. But look, let me show you guys what I got. This is pretty cool. Look at that. Can you guys see? How cool is that? It says Wandering Gypsy on it, my name. That's me. <laughs> But I love that bracelet. It was only like $11, so it was so cute. Obviously, they had to put my name on there. They didn't just have it on there. That'd be pretty cool if they did. <laughs> but, yeah. So, guess where we're going now? Since our little trip to the ghost town is over. Going to see my girl. Going to get back to my girl get back on the road, drive two hours, back to where I'm staying. But look, there's my girl. Gotta tell her, Mama's back. I'm back. She gets excited when she sees me. <laughs> like, very excited. Watch. This is how excited she gets. Mama's back. See? I love you also.